You all are not gonna believe what I found when I walked into my local Dollar Tree. I was blown away. I had no idea this even existed and when I walked in, it was a big surprise. I'm gonna show you everything. Hey, hey you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet and my Dollar Tree had a huge surprise in store for me. In fact, I was so blown away that I pulled out my camera. I wasn't even expecting on filming a video. I just went in to check out some new things and I had to film this and show you guys the new craft section at Dollar Tree. And I don't mean just like craft section, I mean entire aisle. It looked like I was in Michael's. In fact, I had to do a double take. It felt like I was in Hobby Lobby. It was amazing. So I wanna show you everything I saw that's new in the Dollar Tree. You're gonna love it. And I'll show you what I bought too. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad you're here to learn about the Dollar Tree crafting section, but I would love it if you were to subscribe. We do educational activities for kids and lots of ideas and inspirations to learn through play. And then I show you where to source all these things to help you do those activities. And of course I have some giveaways and things like that too. So it's definitely worth subscribing. And speaking of giveaways, I do owe you a giveaway winner from our last giveaway. It was for the Magformer set, the construction set that I know you guys were just dying about. So if you see your name here on the screen, you have one and you have 72 hours to claim your prize. And don't forget, I'm always having giveaways going on too. So just keep checking back for my channel for more of those. In this video, we are heading over to Dollar Tree. So let's get right to it because I know you definitely wanna see this. This is my Dollar Tree right now. And I was blown away when I walked in because one, how neat and organized it was, how fully stocked it was, and it was a full aisle of craft items. It was just like I walked into a craft store. So I wanna show you as much as I possibly can, and we are starting all the way at the very end. We have some jewels, and now I've seen a couple jewels here before, but they seem to have more of a variety now. I saw some in different shapes and different colors, and then they also had pony beads in different colors. We use these a lot in sensory bins. I've also used them for fine motor activities, for threading onto pipe cleaners, but you have a big Big variety now in all the different colors, silver and gold. They had the rainbow and the multicolored. Also new to me were these little packages of glass beads. Now they were really cute and pretty. These little packages are tube confetti, so they're like tube shaped beads, really, really small and fine. And then also the alphabet beads, which are actually a normal Dollar Tree find. Here we have some felt letters. You can use these for sensory tracing, make your own ABC flashcards. They also had a whole bunch of clothespins. You can find the bigger ones over in the laundry section, but they have the smaller ones here for even more fine motor control. I really think these buttons are amazing. If you wanted to do some color matching or if you wanted to do some sorting, you can get a couple packages of those. They're very big and I like that. The foam beads you can use inside those little ornaments that you make around the holidays, or you can use these in slime. Lots of people use these for slime, but these little mini glass containers are pretty interesting too. I think you can fit a lot of small, like if you know, things that you use for crafting in these. They did have felt and fabric in the section too. I've seen this before, but now I see a little bit of a bigger selection. These are felt rolls that I'm showing you right now, a really good quality felt. And then they had the craft fabric, which is also something they've had in the past, but they kind of like restocked up at my store. Lots of different patterns, great for activities or maybe making dolls and clothes and things like that. These are really cool. They are instruction sheets on how to make your own craft items. So there were several of these throughout this section. So if you're on the lookout for some ideas and inspiration, they have those for you and give you some ideas that you could do with all the things here in this section. The wooden dowels are great for Montessori activities. I think these are amazing. That's nice to know they're here and they're very affordable. And then they also had the Velcro. They had the dots. You had the traditional fabric strip, which is what I like. And then you had a whole bunch of dot tapes and the rolls. And then they also had them in individual sheets too, which are great for crafting. If you're doing cards, or if you're still doing scrapbooking, these are really expensive in the craft stores. And then they had some double-sided tape, which is also great for scrapbooking or even doing the planners. These are always here at the Dollar Tree. The feathers and the pipe cleaners use these for sensory beans bins and fine motor activities. Get the feathers now because they're gonna be sold out for Thanksgiving. Just a little tip from me to you. This is new, it's Craft Square Adhesive Cork Sheet. It's just one sheet and it has um, adhesive on the back. I thought that was interesting. And then check out these. These are magnetic buttons if you needed to make something magnetic. And then a Scraptility knife set, like kind of like an X-Acto knife. And then some detailing scissors, which I don't know about the quality on these. If you have them, let me know. Check out all of these. These are embossing stylus. Once again, if you're doing those card kind of things, these are tools that you would use to embossing 
emboss. And then they also have these piercing and scoring tool sets, which if you're scoring things for crafting, using the Cricut, using things when you're making cards. Um, you can also use these to do the Montessori hole punch activities because they have a little hole punch at the top too. These are great for protecting your fingers when sewing. So those might be important if you're using a lot of needles. And then this is a glue and residue eraser, which I'm kind of curious to see if that works. Here are some of the fun labeling items, all chalkboard related. So you can tag things, you can label things. These are ones that have clothespins on the back and they also had the hanging ones. You could also attach these to gifts or maybe newing place cards if you're doing a fancy table. Lots of different purposes for these, but I like the variety, lots of them in one pack, like six to eight in a pack, depending on which ones you get. Here are a few of the markers. So these are like your specialty markers. Don't know about the quality of these, still super curious. And then these craft clamps that you could use to hold things when you are doing your crafting really large glue sticks. This is actually a new thing. I know that they've had the smaller glue sticks and I've used them. They work wonderful, but it's always nice when you have the extra long glue sticks. They're a little bit thicker like these. Might have to try those when the holidays roll around for crafting. Let's move on to the wood section because this is just amazing. Look at all of these wooden pieces that you can buy to paint, do crafts with. I'm thinking holiday gifts for the family. I'm thinking crafts at school. I'm thinking parent gifts. I'm thinking church group gifts. I mean, this little tray with the stars, how adorable is this? I just think it's so, so cute. These are boxes that have the little cutouts on the top. There's a little owl theme, how amazing. This would be perfect for a little princess themed room and you can put trinkets in there if you wanted to. They had that little crown and that little apple if you want to do a teacher's gift possibilities are endless they had the crosses for any kind of religious kind of activity coming up totally amazing and then they also had these they've had these before they're little cutouts they come a whole bunch to a package so you can do all kinds of crafts with these totally paintable totally great for a group project and these cubes you guys these are so expensive in the bigger stores 38 cubes in here and you can have a lot of fun painting them doing coloring activities oh let's not forget about the frames I mean this goes on and on the wood section is just amazing and you can find something for any craft project that you want to do gifting, all that kind of stuff. Love, 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 cannot speak highly enough. Oh, and these, I cannot forget these 3D wood figures. I mean, this is so cute. You could do a whole nursery theme in this, maybe do a, a baby shower where you're having all these people paint them for you. They are so cute. Okay, we're going back to the paint section now. We're seeing a lot of repeats of the kind of paints that they'll have, you know, kind of hit and miss at Dollar Tree, like these painting, like these puff paints, but then they also had the Crayola paints in full stock, and then we've also seen these kind of acrylic paints too. But look at these, premium acrylics from Prang. The Prang brand is a name brand, and these bottles are really, really big. So they had all the color selections in those, and then right under those, they had the washable tempera paint. Um, that's amazing. So if you need some washable paint, you might want to get those. They're about equivalent to the same price that you would see at the craft stores at Walmart. Just a little bit more. Sometimes you can find them for like 95 cents or 25 cents, but they did have a good selection and even some glitter glue. Here are all the canvases that they've had before. I'm glad to see that they're back and fully in stock. So you can do some really fun painting art projects. Now the sticker section had a whole bunch of stencils, but it looked like the sticker section at Michael's. I mean, how beautiful are these? Now, you know I like the alphabet letters because we can use those in activities, especially if you're learning your phonics, your letter recognition, or even your spelling words and sight words, but they're just amazing to have. So check out all the selection you have here. You can't go wrong if you're doing planners, if you're doing crafting, if you're doing cards, if you're doing scrapbooking. Yes, this is the place to be. A dollar each per packet that is simply amazing. These are kind of new to me too. These are jewel border stickers, which are great for planners. I like to give these to my girls because they can decorate cards with them. Here's a couple of the adhesives they had, mostly the same things that we've seen before, just more of it, bigger stock. And then they had your regular paint brushes. These are new to me, I haven't seen them before. They had the metal brushes versus your traditional plastic brushes. And then they had all kinds of different sizes, different packages. Some of them are better than others. And of course, I love the paint palettes and the little foam brushes too. Those are great for holiday crafts. Also in our craft section, I found some craft stitch kits, which I thought were new because they have all the different designs on them. So if you have a child that's into crafts, cross stitching, I would definitely check these out. They might be a great stocking stuffer, hint, hint for later on down the road. They have the everything you need plus the instructions on the back. Here are some paper basket craft kits that also come in all of those kind of cartoon characters. I saw Ninja Turtles and I saw Shimmer and Shine and Star Wars, and they just make little cute little, I guess, paper bag crafts.
As you can see, it was pretty incredible, right? Totally awesome. I felt like I was in a really nice craft store. My store happened to be fully stocked. I talked to the cashier. She told me that they were expecting more items to be coming in. She even told me that they used to have a similar craft section before and they took it away and then they brought it back. So I'm hoping that they keep it and it sticks around for a while. She says not all stores have this craft section. You might see parts or bits and pieces of it, but there are gonna be some stores that have the specific craft aisle just like the one I showed you in today's video. I'm gonna show you what I bought next. My haul is actually kind of tiny, but I wanted to show you anyway. I did end up getting two of these stars. Now I found some in the Christmas section. Yes, the Christmas section is out. And I liked them, but I liked that these had kind of the rounded corners on them. So I got two of these. We're gonna use these as Christmas decor items. And we're going to end up painting them. But look how thick they are. They are pretty sturdy. And I really like that and that they already come with the thing to hang it on. Dollar each and some paint, this craft is like super cheap and I already have the paint, so that works. I do need to mention that I stopped in the Christmas section. Don't hate me. I did get two of the painting sets. I love these because we do them every year and I can see my kids' progress throughout the years. I have the Christmas tree and the snowman. Comes with the paint and the paintbrush. It's really easy. It's like a 20 minute craft to do with your kids. Super, super fun and I get them pretty much every season, but I like seeing these ornaments on the tree every year so I can see the ones when they're really little and they're painted all messy all the way up to when they're older and they're painted nicer. Also in the Christmas section, I got these wooden snowflakes. There's five in here, so I thought these would actually make great gifts. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do them yet, um, but I don't know, gears are turning, gears are turning. Family gifts, you guys, I think they would be fun for that. In the craft section, I did get the Scraptility knife set. So this one has the different blades inside of it. And I just think this is gonna be really nice to add to my Cricut set. And then I did get some alphabet beads. I had a couple of these from before and ended up giving them away, but I have another DIY in mind for a video, an upcoming video that I think I'm gonna use these for. So I went ahead and got them. And really quick, the miscellaneous stuff is what I like to call it. I got some of these collapsible storage containers. These are just amazing. I got some dry erase markers that are magnetic and have the eraser on top. Love that they have the eraser on top. And then I've got a travel size of the cocoa butter formula. So this is great. Dollar Tree gets a lot of travel size items. These are not only great for travel, but we put these inside our car in case you just need a little lotion. So I like this size too. We also have the big bottle, but this is perfect for the car or for traveling. Let me know if you've seen this craft section or maybe just some items from the craft section that I've shown you down below in the comments. I'm kind of curious to know if this is kind of a common thing or not a common thing. Definitely something to look out for. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.